This short tutorial will show you how to plot two curves on one graph and talk a little bit about the data analysis for experiment 20. So in the first two columns I've got volume and pH and if I just create a pretty standard plot with these charts scatter mark scatter it looks like a titration curve as it darn well should. This is the measured data that I obtained with the LabQuest in lab. Now on top of this we also want to plot the derivative of the curve. This will help us see the equivalence points as you'll notice when we get to the end of this process. So we want to add a data series to this. Right click, select data, add data series. And what we want to plot is this derivative delta pH over delta V. It's an approximation of the der derivative but it's pretty darn good as a function of the average volume. That average volume x value is approximately where that derivative applies. It's halfway between two adjacent data points. So for the x values, we want that average volume. For the y values, we want that derivative. And I'm going to leave out that first point because we don't have another point of reference for the initial point. So I'm going to leave those guys out. It'll simplify plotting and it makes the graph look better and actually be more useful. So once I hit OK, you can see that the series has been plotted, but it's a little bit difficult to interpret. So what we're looking for is actually the places where the derivative levels off. Those are the points of inflection and the equivalence points on the graph, but it's kind of difficult to see where those are. Things really aren't scaled right. So we want to plot this on what's called a secondary axis, put some numbers on the right-hand side and scale this up so that we can sort of look at the two curves independently and interpret them independently. So to do this, select the new data series by left-clicking, right-click it, go to Format Data Series, head to Axis, and we want to plot this on a secondary axis. Now you'll notice that a new set of numbers has appeared on the right. The curve has been automatically scaled to fill the vertical and the horizontal space. This is exactly what we want. You can also label the axes here, so if you left click there, chart layout, axes titles. You can label the primary and secondary separately and you can also label the horizontal axis. Now in our case, remember the horizontal axis is common to the two series. It's a volume axis for volume versus pH and it's still a volume axis when we're plotting average volume. So you don't need to worry about a secondary horizontal axis or anything weird like that. Plotting the graph in this way allows us to see the equivalence points really nicely. The maximum of the derivative corresponds to a point of inflection on the titration curve. 